Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at unrelated history in Git, how this occurs and how you can fix it up as well. Before we do though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below. You will get updates for future videos. Okay, to reproduce this, uh, one way we can do this is by having um, a local repo that we've got some changes in and then connecting that, trying to connect that then after we've made local changes to a remote repo. So I'm going to try and reproduce that. I'm going to create a scenario where we have three repos. We'll have a remote, two locals, um, and we'll have the first local will be cloned, and that one should be fine. But then the second will do an initial commit and then try and connect it up. Okay, so let's, let's try and step through that. Um, what I'll do is let's, um, let's create a remote here. I'll just make this a bit bigger for now. And if we go into remote, I can do a git init in here and specify that it's a bare remote. This allows us to connect to it as a remote locally. Um, what I'll do is visualize our remote as well. So that should open up using visual git here for us. Um, oops, I do need to do bare like that. Okay. So here is our remote repo. There's nothing in it at the moment. Just minimize these. Um, okay, so let's open up a new shell here. And we're going to clone that guy. So I'll do a git clone. And it was in cdev remote. And we'll clone it into a local one here. And if I go into local one, I'm going to visualize this repo as well. Now, I'll just move these around a bit. So we'll put, um, let's put the remote down here and local up here. Okay, going to need another, going to need a few shells here while those are running in the background. Um, let's go and go into our new local one. And now we can now we can create a file. So in this scenario, we've clo we've got a remote repo and we did a git clone, um, which means they're nicely in sync. If anything was in that that remote repo, we would have pulled that down already, and our histories would be correct. Um, what I'll do is create a file in the um, rem the local repo one. And we should see this starting to appear up there. The local one. So this is our local one up here. Um, let me just draw that on so we can really remember. Here's local one. This is our remote. And we'll have our local two down here. Um, it doesn't like that too much, does it? Let's do local one remote and we'll put it over here local two okay all right um so you can see that file that we just created in local one it's test.txt um and we've got a commit in there we're on the master branch let we can we can um we can push that up into our remote down here let's do a git push and we should see it appearing down here in the remote now Okay, so let's push that up there. Uh, I'm going to take out the trees. We don't need to see them. Just keeps it a bit clearer. Uh, and you'll notice we get a remote branch now that we've pushed it up. So we've got a remote master there. But these two guys are all fine. You can, you can commit, you can pull, um, you can merge. They're not going to throw up an error of unrelated histories because there's only one in there anyway. Um, let's now, let's now create local two so if i do make that actually local two now so rather than um doing a git clone this time i'm just going to initialize it myself so say we had um uh, a local repo here and we wanted to connect it up if we didn't make any changes here now it would be fine um because we would just pull down everything from the remote and that would be our history and there's only one source there but if I had a file in it, say I did a git init, um, and then I did, um, I thought oh, I'll just 
I'll just create a readme file. Um, oh, I'm in. I'm still in dev. Uh, whoops. Let me go. Let me go into local two. Um, and do the git init, and then to read read me into readme.txt and so we um right so we, i know i need to i need to visualize this so we can see it now uh, let's do visual web now this is a local to let's put it down here which is where we're saying it's going to go um and there's nothing in here at the moment okay um do i need four I've got one here I can use. Okay, so we're in local two now, which was created manually with a git in it, um, and we we've added um, we've added a file that is ready to be committed. So let's do a git add and a git commit, and this is a local two commit. We can see it appearing down here in this repository. Um, and there it is. Right, and let's get rid of the tree. Okay, so that's all a fine, but now if we want to connect it to a remote and get this link up to that other set of source data, we want to get test.txt. You know, say the idea was I created this repo, or I want to pull down. I want to pull down from the remote over here um, but I created a file first uh, and then I tried to connect it up so to connect this up now we can we can just simply say git remote add and give it a name origin maybe and say yep dev remote um, and then I need to specify my branch as well so I do git branch um, set up stream to um, origin master okay it might want to get that so let's let's fetch it first so we would get the data from our remote I'm just going to go up a bit here and you can really see there's no link between what we've got here for readme and what's in the remote on local one and test you know these commits would normally have a connection you would have a history running through your commits from from a commit to its parent but because these were done uh, distinctly there's no commit there there's no link and that's that's the the issue with the histories that we're going to see because our commits hasn't got a history related to this it's not linked up to it um i should now be able to do the the branch yeah so i set up the branch um right and so we've pulled the data down now so we've done we've done a git fetch normally you would now do a git merge um let's see what happens when i do a git merge well there is the error we were trying to reproduce refusing to merge unrelated histories um, so that's how you get into this situation where you don't clone you create something in your repo and then you try and connect up to a remote repo and now they're out of sync um, so what have we got in here we've got um, why is it not showing me the files we've got oh yeah so we've got readme.txt um, but what we want to get as well is test.txt now that does exist um, you know we're on the branch master at the moment so it's showing us just this but we want to to try and get this one set up as well um, what we what we could do is pull out that file now we could check out that file and add it to our history but we don't want to we don't want to mess up the history that's in the remote we kind of want to be having this um, as our uh, source of uh, truth so if you know if I checked out 
test.txt and then did a commit now we'd be um we'd be we'd be on this one and that would mean this guy would be out of sync so i want i want commits from local one to be the source of truth and that's where i want to add the change to so i kind of want to check that out uh, so let's see if we can let's see if we can do that we could do a git um check out and um can i do origin master okay so it has let me do it all right so now our head you can see it changed down here um our head was pointing to master but now it's report now it's pointing to the remote so and if i look at the files that we've got we've now got test.txt rather than readme but i'm on the right branch now now i could check out readme.txt now and then add that and then we could could be in sync uh, so let's give that let's give that a try um, so i'll do a git checkout and i want it we're on the right branch well we're on the right branch but we're going to want to check out from this guy here which is 5a94 um, so let's do 5 a94 and we want to check out readme.txt okay all right so i've got my file now and i'm on the remote branch let's see if we can do a git add and then a, a git commit and this what should we call this um fix history Uh, oops, so git commit uh, fix history. Right, we should now get down here a new commit. So I'm going to get rid of, just going to move this over here because this is going to basically no longer be used, this commit here. Uh, but we've got a new one now, and, and you can see we've got the arrow pointing up now to the first commit. So the history is connected now um, and we've got our readme.txt so now um, I, I don't need to do a merge on here now that that is now looking pretty good um, but I am still in the detached state so I kind of want to get my um, master branch pointing over to this commit as well um, and we can we can do that um, if i do git checkout master now and then i try i reset it so i'll do a git reset and i'm going to get my master branch so i'm over here again now um, which would mean our files are incorrect. We've only got readme.txt, but I'm going to move this master branch and point it to this new commit now. Um, so I'll do, and we can do that with a git reset. And I just need to specify the commit, which is 36C7. And that should get our master branch pointing over here. Let's see if it comes over here now. Okay. So now it's pointing in here. So now we're starting to get in a good position. Um, this commit, we, we don't really care about it anymore. This one is just going to be um, uh, garbage collected. Um, but we've got a good history. We've got the two files that we created. We've got test and readme. And I should be able to push this up now to the, re to the remote down here without any problem. Okay, so it's pushed should see it appear in the remote okay and there it is um, and then that should work now nicely and be in sync with local one as well so if I came out and went into local one and did a git pull we should see up here in local one that it's happy to do that it will just update our master branch down to the new commit and there we are with our two files all right unrelated histories when you get into that state um it's not great and you don't really want to get into that state but that that 
resolution show should show you how you could potentially get out of it and hopefully get a better understanding of what this scenario is it just means you haven't got link back to um, um, a, a source of truth commit you've got you've got two commits there that are just separate uh, all right I hope that was very interesting uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if not but thanks very much for watching catch you next time bye